Hey, what's up, my little tattletale? Sit down because guess what, baby? The other shoe has dropped. ASAP Rocky has been formally charged with assault over that November shooting. Now, if you guys don't know, something happened in November. It was rumored that a member of the ASAP squad, we now know it's ASAP Rally, literally said that Rocky actually um, shot him during a disagreement. It hit his hand. It was caught. He says he has video surveillance that it was caught. We were all doubtful because we're like, no charges have actually been filed. However, Relly filed a civil lawsuit. If you don't know, a civil lawsuit is what a private individual does. Criminal charges is when the state goes after you. To me, it seemed very odd. It's a civil trial is filed before the state trial usually they wait until the state files charges investigates get a conviction and then the civil trial comes you don't have to do that but usually what that's what you do to save attorney's fees well you guys the other shoe has dropped they are reporting that asap was charged with assault over the november shooting get this the D lada district attorney said discharging a gun in a public place is a serious offense that could have ended with tragic consequences okay yeah that's true but again and i'll say it once and i'll say it again this whole story is sitting not sitting right with me the fact that he even pressed a civil charge before they filed charges to me it sounds like a shakedown I'll just say it. I'm not saying it is, right? Don't, don't want to get in trouble with that. But to me, it sounds like that they were heavily uh, trying to use pressure to get ASAP to settle with Relly so that Relly would then refuse to cooperate with the police. And of course, the investigation might go nowhere. All right, let's get into these facts and I'll let you guys know a little bit more about the law, right? Yeah, it's nice to gossip, key, 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 key. But don't forget, your girl is baptized in the blood of the law. And we are going to break this down. Let's get this right. ASAP Rocky has been formally charged with assault with a firearm after he was arrested in April over allegedly shooting ASAP Rally during a disagreement in Los Angeles. Now, the DA announced charges for assault with a semi-automatic firearm with allegations of personally using a firearm on Monday ahead of ASAP's arraignment on Wednesday. The 33-year-old could face up to nine years in prison if found guilty of the offense. They said discharging a gun in a public place is a serious offense that could have ended with tragic consequences, not only for the person targeted, but also for innocent bystanders visiting Hollywood. Okay, it's funny, this choice of words. Because again, on the surface, yeah, sure, whatever. But for innocent bystanders so are you telling us that you have evidence or you have reason to believe that asap rally when he's not when he was shot wasn't innocent and if he wasn't an innocent victim what exactly was going on was it self-defense was it retaliation what exactly happened and what was going on again interesting choice of words and you have to remember when you're reading anything with press releases or you need to pay attention to the wording this is not just casual wording they threw down words matter they mean something it's very interesting my office conducted a thorough review of the evidence in this case and determined that the addition of a special firearm allegation was warranted now I think the special firearm they're talking about is a semi-automatic firearm. As you know, there's different times for different firearms. Semi-automatic weapons are a different type of offense if they are used illegally. In this case, they are alleging that they were used illegally to shoot somebody without, without provo provocation. But again, the fact that you don't refer to them as an innocent victim. Now, it is interesting to say that reps for ASAP for Rocky did not immediately reply uh, to a request for comment. I wouldn't either. Now, I do know one thing. The lawyer he has is a legal eagle. This isn't going to be a Tasha K mess. Exclude the pun, but no offense to Tasha K, but this isn't going to be Olga, if you know what I'm saying. Now, it was reported that Relly filed a civil lawsuit against Rakim over the shooting. He was a longtime friend and a former ASAP mob member. And they said that ASAP Rocky lured him to an obscure location to discuss a disagreement. Now, here's what we need to know. What was this disagreement over? Because here's the one thing I do know about ASAP Rocky, and this is just my opinion. 
He's not known to be into gunplay. He's not known into being into any. It's the thuggish rugged ball. It's the thuggish rugged ball. He's not known to be into any of that. So what do you mean he lured you in over a disagreement? What was the disagreement and why did the police refuse, refuse to refer to you as an innocent victim? They said it could have also killed innocent victims not other but innocent victims how come they're not um referring to it as an innocent victim again you lord over disagreement what was the disagreement all over they said unbeknownst to Relly, uh, rocky was just was not just planning for a conversation and came armed with a semi-automatic handgun after arriving at the location a conversation ensued worby without being provoked right um any warning or justification rocky produced a handgun and intentionally fired multiple shots at rally now get this they're saying that rocky was in close range to rally and purposely pointed it in the direction of his one-time friend who was struck by bullet projectile fragments of his left hand okay stop 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 you guys let's actually replay this so they were having a conversation Rocky came armed. He must have felt like he was armed for a reason. Again, I'm not selling that Relly is not a victim. I want to know more details because this isn't making sense. You guys were in close proximity, but he wasn't in close proximity to really aim at your head or your chest or someplace that really would have done damage. He pointed in your direction and you were hit with projectiles. So you weren't even hit by a bullet. You weren't even hit by the bullet. It was projectiles now again this isn't diminished what he's going through i'm not taking a side either way but we need to actually deconstruct this crime scene and what actually happened also if he purposely pointed it in the direction of your one-time friend was he running away from you was everybody scattering why was it in your direction and not at you again you're having a conversation you're right in front of him now he's pointing it in your direction what actually happened on this night because now i have serious serious questions now, Relly, who's a talent manager and a producer alongside fashion and jewelry venture, says he suffered physical, mental, and emotional injuries. He's received death threats over the situation. He's seeking at least 25K in damages. I want to also say this. That 25K in damages really has my ears raised. He did all this. ASAP has a cute coin right now is he a billionaire like rihanna no but hardly anyone's a billionaire by rihanna asap has a cute coin all this stuff happened he caused you physical mental and emotional injuries and you're seeking at least twenty five thousand in damages cardi b never had any of this happen and she walked away four million in damages but she was seeking damages for each car uh, account this amount he's seeking is incredibly low incredibly it makes me think he either has if he's telling the truth super bad lawyers or if he's not telling the truth this is some sort of attempt to get what you can out of the season when you don't necessarily have i don't know when you don't necessarily have the strongest case again if i just go by the crime scene that's actually in this it just doesn't make sense you're talking face to face but then you point a gun in the direction you're hit by fragments were you guys still talking why didn't he hit you head chest if he was really trying to do hurt if he was really trying to hurt you why and because there were other people there why didn't they jump you why didn't give you a good old new york city butt kicking with a tim boot to the head and one to the shin why didn't that happen again it was in your direction did you have a firearm what were you doing what was the screaming and why did you go agree to meet somebody at 11 or whatever at night in an alley in los angeles to talk about a disagreement that you don't want to give details over you guys i think this is why it took so long for them to file charges yes there's a video surveillance yes for some reason they believe they can place them at the scene but there is something there is something going on in this story that ASAP Rally and the police do not really want to get out because my guess is it doesn't make it look good for ASAP Rally. And when you look at that 25000 that he's suing for, again, it could be everything. It could be nothing. It could just be he has another Olga as a lawyer. But I don't know, guys. Something is covering up. Charges have been filed. I will be covering this case with legal analysis. But until then, y'all... Ooh, 
let, listen, I hope Rihanna and the baby are doing well. Blessings to the family. I hope this is all one big misunderstanding mistake because if not this is looking at up to nine years in jail all right you guys let me know what you think in the comments and i will talk to you later bye